with the old year now ending. Welcome to the Peace Church video message for New Year's Eve. We put it together as a video film for friends near and far because it is still difficult to meet for worship in person. So enjoy the video, enjoy the end of the old year and the beginning of the new year. Be happy with friends and family and be safe in your home. And most of all, be blessed. Call to worship. Let us celebrate on the New Year's Eve in the name of him who said, I am the light of the world. Let us be mindful of the time as we dwell in his light. Let us bring before God the experiences we have gone through in this past year and surrender our whole lives in the presence of his light. For this is the night in which the love of God wants to appear to us. Amen. Let us pray. On the threshold of the new year, we reflect on the past year. How was it? What is there lying behind me? What experiences have I had? Were those really necessary for me? On the threshold of the new year, we light candles, reflecting and remembering. God, we pray to you that we may find our way back to our words. To you, the one who created the universe and each one of us, that we may turn to you for our healing, that we may become the human beings who want us to be. Help, Help us to see our limits and our problems. We light this candle, remembering the children who were born this year. May all children be able to grow up receiving love and care. We light this candle, bearing in mind all those married couples who have celebrated weddings or wedding anniversaries this year. This light shines for their mutual happiness, for their courage to break habits, for their strength to uphold each other, even in difficult situations. We light this candle, remembering all those who have passed away this year. 
all for whom we have mourned and continue to mourn. We light this candle remembering all the people, near or far, who had to suffer from catastrophes, war, violence, and anxiety. We especially name the COVID-19 pandemic, which has changed the lives of all of us so tremendously. May the people in the midst of pain and despair experience that you can come close, God, and bring comfort and hope. We light this candle, recollecting all the beautiful things we have experienced in the past year. The greater and the smaller moments, the moments of joy and happiness, of peace and friendship, of hospitality and sharing. We light this candle thinking of those people who have committed themselves, even put their lives at risk when working for freedom and reconciliation and for human life without violence and hatred. May this light shine for the peacemakers. every one of us in mind, bearing each other in our strengths and weaknesses, anxieties and hopes. It illuminated the ways we have gladly travelled along and even guided us on paths where we did not want to go. It will continue to shine for us in the coming year so that we can put our hope in God, who has promised to us for I certainly know the plans I have for you, for peace and not for suffering, and I give you a future with hope. Our God, we look we back on the past year, on the paths we have taken. We thank you for all the wonderful things we have experienced, for the laughter and the cheerfulness joy and happiness. Help us to realise that such opportunities come from you. Help us to preserve such wonderful memories and to remain grateful for them. Our God, we also look back on all the sad and imperfect aspects of our lives in the past year. During the journeys we have started together,
Join me in the Old Testament reading in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 29. These are the words of the letter that the prophet Jeremiah sent from Jerusalem to the remaining elders among the exiles, and to the priests, the prophets, and all the people who Nebuchadnezzar had taken into exile from Jerusalem to Babylon. It said, Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, to all the exiles whom I have sent into exile from Jerusalem to Babylon. Build houses and live in them. Plant gardens and eat what they produce. Take wives and have sons and daughters. Take wives for your sons and give your daughters in marriage that they may bear sons and daughters, multiply there, and do not decrease. But seek the welfare of the city where I have sent you into exile, and pray to the Lord on this behalf. For in its welfare you will find your welfare. For surely I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord plans for your welfare and not for harm, to give you a future with hope. Jeremiah was a lonely voice in a time of great darkness. He was a prophet. He was the voice of God who wanted to speak through him. Jeremiah knew he had to be in touch with those in exile who had been put in chains and led away to a hostile land. And he wrote this beautiful letter that ends with the most comforting sentences a believer can hear from his or her God. For surely I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans for your welfare and not for harm, to give you a future with hope. Those whom the letter was for were full of despair and hopelessness whenever they allowed themselves to remember what had happened. They could see no way out, no tomorrow, no future, no more happiness. In those days of brutal warfare between the small country Israel and the superpower Babylon, many of the Israelites had been deported, dragged from their country and forced to settle far from home cheap labor they were meant to be. And weakened and terrified as they were, there was not likely to be a rebellion. Intimidated and frightened as they were, they wouldn't dare rise up against their oppressors. So the Babylonians did not scatter them across their huge empire, but allowed them to settle together. And there, in exile, they tried hard to care to care to remember the past, to care for their people, to care about their faith and keep going. They tried to behave as calmly as possible, to keep their heads down and keep out of the Babylonian everyday life. They cried a lot and they sang sad songs. And some of them couldn't help it, they were literally heartbroken. And then, one day, came this letter from Jeremiah, a sign of life from home, a message so clear. Don't allow yourselves to fall into despair. Don't fall silent. Don't withdraw. Care. Try to live in this foreign country. Build houses and live in them. Plant gardens and eat what they produce get married and give birth to children. Support the place that your complicated life story has brought you to. Pray for the people you have to live among and do know. If they are fine, you will be fine too. Do whatever you can that you and others can be happy and live together in peace. Jeremiah today would insist on us working for mutual understanding in this church, 
for better living conditions in this city and for peace in this world. And he would tell us never to let go of hope. There will always be difficulties. Life is never easy, he might say, and often you will be discouraged, frightened or frustrated. But you can keep going, all of you. You can contribute to the changing of things. Just care and be part of it all, and there will be hope. There is always the chance of a better life on earth, believe me. And don't withdraw into exile, inner or outer exile. Don't just live in your small private world, but connect your personal little dreams with God's great vision for the future of humankind. Join the community of believers. Find people who share your hopes and your faith and work together with them. Offer your time and talents and bring forth changes that an individual could not even dream of achieving on his or her own. Join forces and show solidarity with those who need you. Support the place you live in. Care for it. Because in its well-being, you will find your well-being. Believe me, Jeremiah might say today, God needs you in this church, in this city. God needs you in this country. God needs you for his world. You can make a difference if you just do what Jesus has taught you to. Follow him, care and heal and help and save. You can do it, especially in the year to come. Amen. May God, who is present in sunrise and nightfall, and in the crossing of the sea, guide your feet wherever you go. May God, who is with you when you sit and when you stand, encompass you with love and lead you by the hand. May God, who knows your path and the places where you rest, be with you and lead you in the way that is everlasting. Amen.